Hi everyone, it's Liz. Um, today is day five of the July um, photo a day um, thing going on. I don't know what to call it. Anyway, and I decided since I had a file effects, I would go ahead and try my hand at it. And today's picture was a planner plus bag. And I received this bag um, as a belated Mother's Day gift. And I, w I was looking for a bag that could be used for work and school and just life because I'm a big girl and I, or a big mama, and I need a big mama bag. And so I was actually looking for another purse that I had seen with um, reviews on the coach website. It's actually a men's travel bag or something like that. And um, the big difference between this bag and that bag was $300. And the straps on the mail bag were larger. And um, it was a little bigger. But I went with this because I like the price, the price, that, the the fact that it was three hundred dollars cheaper, and it looked more, and it was more feminine, and it looked more professional. If that makes any sense, they're both leather, but I just, oh, I just was sold on this when you look when I saw the pockets inside. So uh, there were different colors. Um, I went with the black because. I'm kind of boring that way. And it's got gold accents. As you can see, the Coach Coach New York sign and the little Coach, um, uh, what do you, brass? Whatever. This is a little tag. There's no pockets on the outside. That's my only thing. Besides the fact that it's got the thinner straps, but these haven't really cut in even when I filled it up. And I'll do another video with all the stuff that I put in there. Um, and if you take a look at the back side, you know, it's just simple, minimalist, that kind of thing. But if you could tell, oh, this video won't do it justice, but you could tell there's some texture to it. Don't mind my husband's messy CPAP and nightstand thing there. Um, but, uh, uh, you can kind of tell the texture. So it's not smooth. And I haven't, and I've been using it for the last um, three weeks or so, and I haven't gotten, had to clean it or, you know, I just wipe it off, anything that's gotten on it. But it's been pretty clean and I love it. It, another thing that, not my favorite in bags, but oh, geez is the way it zips. Oh, I didn't zip it. It doesn't go all the way, so there are little areas at the end, you know, with this. But it zips nice. Oh, shoot. Excuse me. First time I did it with did this movie with a, or did a movie without a tripod. There you can see. Ooh! So you can see, you know, the sides are open it's that got that nice I like tucking this in it just looks cleaner nice gold zipper with the leather pull on it so you open it up I love the inside because it has so many pockets and you look inside on the back back um side here You've got two large pockets. This one is for the iPad, I mean, not iPad, laptop. And when I don't use, bring my laptop, because I'm not always carrying my laptop around, I put my iPad in here and you can strap it in, which is really neat. And then it's got another larger pocket there, which you can put whatever. My iPad could fit in it, but it has to stand up. And, and you'll see my other video, I put that big n ugly case on top of it because I'm a klutz and I tend to drop things. And so it still fits in here with that. And you can strap it in, but honestly I don't really use those straps because I'm always paranoid about pulling too hard and unsnapping this. 
or like pull, you know messing up the fabric or pulling off the leather you can tell the little snap has a leather um, lining outside it which can you tell it's kind of hard I'm sorry but it's nice and I I just don't like testing it because I tend to pull hard on things and then the nice the straps have that same textures as the outside of the purse it has the little gold brass or whatever you want to call this things Oops. and then the little coach and when this is a coach bag it was handcrafted from genuine leather its superior craftsmanship and attention to detail reflect our commitment to enduring quality and then there's a number on it because that's a ID number I don't know. Never read that, but <laughs> until now, so that was neat. And then the other side oh, it has a nice, not full, like, well, I guess it does go the entire length of the, or width of the bag, is a zippered compartment. I like all these little leather accents. It's got the leather pull tab there. And then there's a pocket for the cell phone. And oh, another wider pocket. And you can see from the bottom. Let's see if I can. So look, it's just huge. And I like that it has structure and that it can stand up straight and still look nice. It supports itself. It's not a big floppy mess. Because um, my other thing, the other purse I was really considering was the Neverfull, um, the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. I think that's what it's called. I just don't like how it's so floppy and the straps were so thin on it that they were cutting in with just my just the my normal purse thing so that's I just wanted to share my nice little work slash school slash big mama bang and and I'll uh, that's it so thank you for watching talk to you soon bye